Do you think US economy is on a rise or decline since we see revenue of Tesla and Uber at least declining? In the short term, I think it's on a rise. In the long term, I think there's some pretty existential threats to the US economy. One of the biggest ones is where will the working labor population come from? Population decline overall in America uh -huh. and China. Those are the three big threats. I mean, already, you know, I, I work in venture right now. Uh -huh. Whenever I see uh, a hardware company, hardware is always sort of a dirty word in venture. Uh -huh. Not because we don't think it's cool. Everyone thinks hardware is cool. It's because hardware businesses are very tough to, to make work. They're not recurring revenue businesses. They're very capital intensive. When you look at these businesses, the first thing we think is, how are you going to compete with China? They're going to be able to take whatever R&D that you have and manufacture it at one tenth of the cost. Like the kind of things they've done to their city, the kind of supply chains they have, the access to cheap, good, high quality materials is insane. And in the last decade or two, and you know, obviously we can talk about the deep sick moment too, but in the last decade or two, they've shown they also have the R&D on top of that. They're not just a manufacturing shop like the Foxconn to iPhones. They're more than that. Like you can actually, they can actually build their own robots and you see that with Unitree. The fact that they can sell one of those dogs for 1600, like tell me when Boston Dynamics is able to sell any of those dogs. They're never going to be able to because you can't sell it for 1600 if you manufacture in America because America doesn't have labor arbitrage anymore. Long term, the US has to figure out how to make it work. Short term, I think it's fine if you look at all of these tech companies and innovation.